Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another plant tour for you and it's one that I'm really, really excited to show you. It is a shorter plant tour because I just didn't get to explore quite as much as I wanted to. I was feeling a little bit shy in there. I felt a little out of place, like I was gonna get kicked out even though I did get the okay to look around in there and everything. But like, wow. I was like, I am not this professional. How, why am I in here? Um, so let me tell you what it is, where we're going today. Today we are going to Cascade Tropicals. And I don't know what this was, but it's Cascade Tropicals. And they're a wholesale plant retailer. Is that right? Wholesale plant seller? Yeah, something of the sort. And um, it's really cool. I didn't really know anything about it. I just kind of found it when I was Googling different nurseries near me and I don't know, it just looked cool. So I decided to go check it out. I will be um, hopefully soon getting my business license and reseller's permit and all of that. And then I will be able to actually shop there, which I'm very excited about because as you will see, they have some incredible, incredible plants. It's just, it's out of this world. I have never seen anything quite like it. It was their plants literally everywhere. You'll see, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's awesome. And when I do go with, through with that process of getting the, um, I'm so sweaty, so don't mind me. I'm just profusely sweating. Um, but let me know if you wanna see that whole process when I do go through and get my business license and my reseller's permit. Um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see that, if that is something that you are maybe like thinking about doing yourself, but you're scared because you don't know the whole steps and the whole process. Let me know and I will be more than happy to share that with you guys. But yeah, let's just get on in there. Again, this is a wholesale plant nursery. And so you just kind of like, go in, you have to have your um, business license number and your reseller's permit and all that stuff. Um, and then they like get you signed in and everything. And then you can go through with a scanner and like pick how many quantities you want of everything. I don't believe they have like a minimum purchase requirement, which is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen that with a wholesale seller before. Um, and you can just buy like ones and twos of things if you want to, which is really, really awesome. It seems kind of like it's more meant for smaller um, plant businesses, which is amazing because that is what I aspire to be. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on in there. Again, we're going to Cascade Tropicals. All right, we are inside Cascade Tropicals. So the first thing I see when I walk in is this large setup of um, a ton of different moss poles. And then we have a section of air plants. And it looks like some Spanish moss as well. It's just beautiful. So many different varieties. And oh my gosh, I was just like, just getting started. And then I looked up, look at this. Oh, <laughs> so beautiful. It just keeps going on and on and on. So let's kind of start getting in here a little bit. Seeing a lot of beautiful like trailing plants, a lot of um, Tritoscantia some beautiful bromelades. Oh my gosh, okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I spotted some Hoya, so that's what I'm kind of like making my way over to, slowly but surely. <gasps> Here they are. I've spotted them, the Hoya. <laughs> I was so excited, I can't even tell you. So first things first, what the heck is that? What? So beautiful. Crassiopetiolata, I think is what that was. And look at all of those. Okay, there are so many Hoya that I've never even seen before. And you notice they have different markers in the plants letting you know like how many weeks along they are in growth. Look at this Hoya with that black margin. Oh my gosh. Let me know what you think some of these Hoyas are down in the comments because yeah, I'm really not sure about all of them. And we've got some uh, Hoya Cretesii. And what is this guy? That's super cute. Don't know what it is, but it's really cute. <laughs> a bunch of Hoya Compacta Variegata, some Crimson Queen. Beautiful. Some Chromiana, I wanna say. Those are just so gorgeous. Look at that color. Oh, oh. What? Stop it right now. So beautiful. And there's Hoya sigillatus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was really excited about that one. I just couldn't even believe it. It looks like maybe some more um, Chromiana, something like that. Cro Is it Chromiana or cro Chroniana? Chromiana? Chroniana. You tell me. 
And here I found some rare plants. I believe this is a variegated uh, philodendron giganteum. And then what is that called? Strawberry shake, I believe. I've never seen these in person. So beautiful. I have seen one of these in person. I believe that's a Jose Buono. Oh my gosh. And look at that. Florida beauty. And these are some sort of rare, gorgeous scandapsis. I'm really not sure on those ones. Some are Hoya. And look at these beautiful brandies here and some more philodendron florida beauty oh my gosh i've never seen those in person i've not seen most of these in person that is a monstera escaletto you guys <laughs> oh my god i just just being able to touch these plants was so special and like have you ever seen a brandy leaf that large i haven't okay i had to stop by the strawberry shake one more time because just look at that oh here's a little overview of this little section Plants hanging from the ceiling, on the aisle sections. Oh my goodness. And we have some little babies here. These are little baby philodendron snowdrift. Ooh. Again, never even seen that in person. We have some little baby tortums here. I wasn't seeing any of those little markers with how many weeks along these ones are, but they're definitely young. These are some variegated spathlophyllum. Looks like that is the sensation variegated peace lily. So pretty. Some more Escaletto, I think. Variegated Adansonii. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at how big that leaf is. And here we have some variegated Alocasia. So beautiful. And I think these are more Tortum. Yes, definitely more Tortum. So pretty. Oh. And, oh my god, a bunch of baby Monstera Thai Constellation. Ah, uh, a little sea of them. Oh, can I swim in there? Thank you. And here we have some Ring of Fire. Oh my gosh, those are just gorgeous. And there is a, a gentleman moving stuff around here, so I was trying to get out of his way. He's organizing. <laughs> and then look at this. Okay, this is a plant I've seen on Kaylee Ellen's channel a couple times. This is a blue oil fern. I hope that you can grasp how gorgeous that coloring is because it really does look like it's been oil slicked. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. And there was only one of those that I saw. And then here, oh my gosh, some variegated Epipremnum pinnatum. So gorgeous. Super highly variegated. And again, here's another little overview. I don't know what my camera is doing. I think the light was a little intense here, but oh my gosh, just wild, you guys. And I found another table of Hoya that were definitely further along within their life. A lot more fuller pots. Look at these, oh my gosh. That black margin just gets me, you guys. And then we have some more common plants and stuff, some more low light happy plants. Well, they would be happy in low light, but they're not in low light here, that's for sure. Some more of those Crassio petiolatas. Oh, oh, the Venetian, I love it. We've got some prayer plants over here. Again, this is a, looks like a section of more kind of common house plants that you could find more places. Some large bird of paradise. Oh my gosh. So they had kind of everything here, it seems like, no matter what you wanted to sell for your store or something. If you wanted super rare plants or if you wanted more common and then like any size that you could think of. You have a bunch of white princess philodendron. Oh my goodness. Those are gorgeous. Bunch of philodendron heteraceum. Oh my gosh. And then over there, there's larger plants and still more and more plants hanging up along all of the walkways on the ceiling. So gorgeous. What is this? So this is just named a philodendron weeks red hybrid. I'm not sure what this is. Let me know if you know like a different name for this plant in the comments below because <laughs> whoa, <laughs> that is crazy. That pink striping down the center, like what? Oh my gosh, with some beautiful ferns. So gorgeous. 
and just racks and racks and racks of plants, you guys. Whoa. <laughs> I was a little overwhelmed in here. Um, as you can see by my like not so great filming, very overwhelmed. And I found a rack of baby plants and these ones are in trays. So I think you buy them as a tray. You don't buy them individually. You get like a mixed little selection of those were Hoya. I think there were like 20 different Hoya um, in that tray and you can't mix and match it. They have like signs and stuff up. So you just grab a tray and that's what you are grabbing. Here we're just walking through, kind of getting a glimpse of some of the some of the items on the shelves. There's some giant silver dragon or dragon scale alocasia. Oh my god, they're so cute! And it looks like some baby peace lilies or something like that. Look at that little guy. Oh. How cute. I have no idea what that is. Again, let me know what you think it is in the comments. <laughs> Put a timestamp for me so I know what you're talking about. They have some baby uh, philodendron squamiferum. You can tell by those beautiful petioles. Oh. And we have even more alocasia. Looks like these are some little baby Aslanii. Oh my gosh, more begonia. Looks like some philodendron birkin. And you guys, some baby gloriosum. Are you kidding me right now? What? Look at how cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Ugh, this is a plant seller's dream and a plant buyer's dream, honestly. Some larger gloriosum. <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place. I was literally just like a kid in a candy store. So gorgeous. This is the Mayoi or something. And here we have some smaller of the uh, painted lady philodendron. And these are some little philodendron sodoroi. Stop it. They are so bushy. Oh. So I wonder where they sell these to. Like, who is buying these, you know? And like, where can we buy them? Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. I've spotted another little tray of some smaller plants here, little two inch pods. There's variegated alocasia, Hoya, more alocasia, more Hoya. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these variegated rubber trees. I think that's the um, Chivariana. I'm just like beside myself. Okay, how cool was that? I know that it was a pretty short tour, but how cool was that? Did you see all those cool plants? Because <laughs> I almost had a conniption fit when I first walked in there. I didn't know that you need to like check in or like what to do. So I just kind of walked in and started looking at plants when I first got there and <gasps> I immediately like saw someone working there and was like, hey, so how does this work? I've never been here. What do I do? How do I shop? What's going on? What are the prices? There's no prices on anything. You find out the prices when you have their little scan gun and you go around and you have like a little iPad thing and all this stuff. It's a whole process. Um, once I do get my business license though, I will ask them if I can film doing that whole process of like scanning everything and seeing what it is. Um, I'll see if that's like a possibility. I feel like it may not be, which I would totally understand, but no harm in asking, right? Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this wholesale plant nursery. Like I said, I've never seen anything quite like it before, so I was really excited to just be in there and amongst so many gorgeous plants. It was wild. And it's so cool to see how they like keep track of all the different um, stages and how old each plant is with their little weak markers. So, so interesting. So definitely a world I'd love to dive into one day a little bit more, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you liked seeing this kind of stuff. And I will hopefully show you more fun stuff like this in the future. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video, which if you want to, could just be in like two seconds or something because you could just pick a video over here or over here. So yeah, I will see you in just a sec.